All right, what up, y'all? So today I wanted to get on here and talk a little bit about how freaking valuable our attention is. Our attention is so, so, so valuable, especially in this age of what you can call the attention economy. Because really when you look at it, you know, with everything like social media, all these news sources, um, just that landscape in general, everything is centered around our attention and trying to attract our attention and trying to engage us, of course, maybe for business to sell a product or whatever. Our attention is so valuable and anytime we put our attention, our focus onto something, it grows. And what we put our attention on literally becomes us. What we consume literally becomes us. Everything we take in, no matter if we realize it or not, goes into our the deepest parts of our subconscious, our mind, and then eventually that manifests as what we are externally and what our beliefs are and what our thoughts are. Um, so before I get into it, trying to get better at asking this because it was feeling a little uncomfortable to me before, but if you like the video, um, give it a like. If you are interested in more empowering content, give a subscribe. I'll be dropping probably a video about once a week. And any feedback is appreciated as well because I'm trying to get better and trying to help people, trying to speak my mind and trying to grow in general. So appreciate that. But did you realize though, what's crazy is that every time you even watch a minute of content on YouTube, you are essentially paying that person because how YouTube's monetization works, once you reach a certain subscriber threshold, which I have not reached yet, you get paid by how much time your videos are viewed um, by the hour, by the minute, really. And so literally every time you're putting your attention on something, you are feeding that other person, whether you end up buying something from them, just by consuming their content, you are literally supporting them in multiple different ways and you're giving them power. And so when all these negative sources are coming up, which a huge, especially like Twitter X, whatever, and of course the traditional news and Instagram's a little bit better, you can filter it a little bit better, but there is so much negativity and hate that is spread. And if we become what we consume, what is that doing to us on a subconscious level? Just think about that for a little bit. What is that doing to us? It is programming us to think negatively and it's going to affect our outlook on life. It's going to be more negative. And then you have things like TikTok, Instagram Reels and Twitter again, where you're literally just swiping and every time you're getting a new thought, every time you're getting a new piece of information and you're getting bombarded and overstimulated by all these random ideas that don't really pertain to us. So one, we're getting bombarded with negative information, maybe. And two, our attention span is completely shot. And what I've learned is that you need a certain amount of focus and a certain amount of an attention span to actually create meaningful change in your life. Because if you are just going along subconsciously, you know, stuck in these habitual patterns, you need to focus on what you actually want in life. And you need to focus on the decisions that need to get you there. And you need to direct your focus towards yourself instead of outwards. You need to focus on what is going on internally, which then creates what happens externally. So what I did for a while when I was kind of learning about this and trying different things, my first thought was, all right, so all social media is bad. So I'm just going to turn my phone off. and I'm just going to not look at it. I'm going to delete social media. And that helped a little bit, I think, to clear my mind. But in reality, one, it's super, super, super tough to get away from all the 
distractions, just social media in general. It's, it's tough to get away from it. And so I find myself getting trapped in it sometimes too. But also I learned that you can use social media as a positive tool. So when I kind of took control of my thoughts a while ago, I realized that every piece of information I took in Everyone who I followed had to be aligned with my goals, had to be aligned with anything positive in general, something I was working on. I followed a lot of like health and fitness accounts because that's what I was interested in at the time. Um, business people, um, pos just positive people in general. And then my feed, especially Instagram, that's why I like Instagram because you can really curate it was, you know, even though I was sometimes getting bombarded, it was a positive bombardment. So it was wiring myself in the right direction. So not all content creators are bad. Not all influencers are bad. I think they get a bad rep. But there are people that actually want to help you. And there are people that want to distract you. And it's sad that a lot of things these days are just pure distractions. I feel like it's a war on attention. <laughs> what you want to boil it down to is a war of distraction. And we have to block all that out. Or we have to ruthlessly filter everything that we take in because we have to realize that it is creating us. Every single thing that we take in is creating us. And that's kind of why I created the Higher Self Project is because I was sick of the negativity. I was sick of the just random information, the disempowering information. I wanted to be a source of positivity and I feel like I could help some people. And that's kind of what these videos are about too. So that's what I got for today. Your attention is so valuable. Everything you pay attention to, you're putting your energy into and we all have a finite amount of energy. And so you have to be aware of what you are giving power to because it creates you. Peace.